Thank you for checking out crypto.chartguys.com, the source for technical analysis in the cryptocurrency world. We are proud to announce our own crypto alert system designed to give you the most critical technical trading information possible no matter where you are. Keep your eyes on the market with mobile or email alerts for MACD crosses, RSI levels, and even inside bar alerts for dozens of coins across multiple exchanges. New features and proprietary chart guys indicators are already in development. Our alert system is very easy to customize and utilize, so don't hesitate to sign up for the most effective crypto trading tool on the market at crypto.chartguys.com. Hey everyone, hope you're having a good weekend. We got a long weekend with the holiday. I know Canadians got a holiday coming up on Monday, so I'll probably go live and do some crypto on Monday. So we're going to look at the big three, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and then at the end of the video, going to go over a little bit more on the alert system and how it could have been utilized for this Litecoin latest move. And we're also going to be adding another alert. It's going to be a breakout alert that factors in volume and price shear in unison with each other. So we'll talk about that a little bit, but going to be adding that within a few days at this point. So that started off with Bitcoin and what we're going to be watching. Oh, by the way, sorry, free courses. It's that time again, so leave a comment and I'll choose a couple people randomly and give away some free courses. So comment on the video. Looking at Bitcoin on the daily time frame, we still have our higher lows that are establishing here and keeping these bulls in full control. And right now we're looking at the most recent, this is the ideal level to hold. It's not the must hold, but this level of 8,393. We are forming a potential bearish reversal candlestick on the daily time frame. So whenever I see that forming, I always want more details. I want to know, is the four-hour chart still forming higher lows and higher highs? Has that pattern been broken and we're now falling back? This candlestick alone does not tell us that. And it's going to be closing here in a few hours. And looking at the four-hour time frame for those details, I can say, okay, the ideal level for the bulls to hold was broken. This would be the ideal support to hold. But as far as the higher low, I'm looking at this level. That's at 9,502, and we're still holding these exponential supports. So as long as these levels hold, I'd say the bulls are still just fine. This is healthy consolidation at this point. There's no red flags. There's no increasing bear volume. We haven't seen two red candlesticks in a row. So as of this point, the bulls are still maintaining control. We look at the hourly chart, and I can say, okay, I maybe would have broke, maybe would have exited when this level did break, and I'll go over one of my trades I made on Bitcoin yesterday where I did get stopped out, but... If you are looking, it all depends on the time frame of your trade. If you're a short-term trader, you're exiting here. I exited, or I should say exiting on the loss of the higher low. I exited even shorter term on the 15 minute time frame. So the high of the bounce at that point was 10,250 and I made a bullish entry on that break. So knowing that the four hour chart was extended and had not really consolidated made me more cautious and it made my stop loss tighter because the risk to reward, the reward potential from where we broke was not very high in the sense that, again, we had already been running for so long. Every time we see bullish continuation on a move without consolidating with RSI levels getting up to overbought conditions, the uh, risk to reward is less and less in favor of reward. So I placed my stop loss on the 15 minute time frame right here and I was very quickly stopped out. And it's a very small loss. It was a partial position. It was a $100 loss from my entry to where I exited here. And that allowed me to skip all this downside. Granted, the bulls came back a little bit, but even now, still far below. And look at this previous support acting as resistance right here. So that is a, an important level to be watching from here on out on Bitcoin, 10,150. But just an example how, you know, the last three nights in a row, I had entered into either Litecoin or Bitcoin and then let it ride and woke up to some really nice gains by, you know, making an entry, setting a stop loss and letting the bulls do their thing with the uptrend. So this was my attempt after two successful nights. This was my third attempt last night to get in and see if it can, you know, break out and let it ride again. And obviously it didn't. So didn't give back anywhere near as much in terms of the previous two days of profit of this play. So that's the kind of scenario where I make the same play three times. It works two out of three. The loss is much smaller than the, the wins. And that is how you have the odds in your favor as a trader and how you continue to plug away long term and continue to profit. So where we stand again on Bitcoin, bulls are just fine in my opinion. We have that 10,150 resistance. Support is 9,914. And then 9,720, uh, let's see, 9,729. So again, all depends on your time frame. Daily chart telling me some consolidation could be coming. Four hour time frame, still very bullish. Hourly time frame dropping down to lower lows. 
would certainly set the tone back for the bears. And if we get a break of 10,150, it certainly sets the tone back to the bulls as we test the high of the bounce. Litecoin has been wonderful and continues to give opportunity. The bulls are still just fine. We're not confirming the bearish reversal candlestick for last week. We're very, very likely to form a daily, or I should say from yesterday, not last week. We're very likely to form a daily inside bar today. And then we'll be watching this range tomorrow. Volumes dropping off, not surprising after the huge surge. We're looking at, again, this weekly time frame. That volume is picture perfect and exactly what the bulls wanted to see. Four hour time frame, higher low is established. So I put out a tweet yesterday that said, uh, you know, the bulls are in. I said, I want a position in Litecoin as long as four hour higher lows are holding. And that's just because of the explosive nature. We've seen a plenty of FOMO, people rushing to get in, not wanting to miss out. So we had healthy consolidation, tested exponential supports. Bulls showed up. Look at this inside bar. Yet again, inside bar giving a beautiful signal at 216.06. Next thing you know, a few hours later, we are up, oh, about 7% from that point. Now we are seeing a little bit of a lower high. So we might be looking at an equilibrium pattern on the daily with our high, or excuse me, this is the four hour, our high, our low. This is our lower high now. We topped out at 234.75. And we'll see if we have to form a higher low comparative to 206.25 and stay in this equilibrium pattern. Hourly time frame for a bit more details. Just made this breakout. This was a descending triangle pattern this morning that we played. And I was actually still in the Litecoin position that I just swung overnight. And again, it was a partial position, which allows me a lot more wiggle room. That's a point that I want to make where if I'm in a full position, I have to get out of that trade a lot sooner than if I'm in a half position in the sense that if I'm keeping my loss small and I'm keeping it to this certain percentage or certain dollar amount, if I have half the position, I can literally give it twice as much wiggle room before I want to get stopped out. I'm looking for my page of a couple notes of stuff that I did want to talk about. So that's what I'm keeping an eye on. And that is what, you know, keeping that half position allowed me to have that overnight hold and i put my stop loss below 206 which was the bottom of the pullback at that point so we saw this healthy consolidation the 15 minute time frame gave us a perfect um, descending triangle pattern where we have our horizontal base of support right there and then just lower highs tighter and tighter and tighter until we get the bull break increase in bull volume and it was off to the races after that for these bulls very strong move and then we had a clear turnaround here losing the hourly higher lows this is actually the 15 minute higher lows and we lost those higher lows by breaking 228.36, 229.71. So losing these support levels was a potential stop out. And right now I am riding this longer term again because it's a half position. And at this point, I'll exit if 223.55 breaks because that's our new higher low on the hourly time frame. And we're likely to see an hourly inside bar about to form. And that could be another signal to utilize as well. If this hourly inside bar were to break bearish, that could be an exit point. So that's where we stand on Litecoin. Still all bulls. Definitely the strongest of the three. Bitcoin's number two and Ethereum's still number three. Checking Ethereum on the daily. So still holding up for the bulls, still forming higher lows, but it's an inside bar on the daily about to form. So we have to look for more detail. And we're getting very tight. So the four hour support, and we have our all the high of the bounce of 948. Our low of this same candlestick is 907. Lower high is 944.92. Higher low is 911.45, and now we'll see if we form a lower high compared to 944.92. So it's just a tightening equilibrium pattern, seeing it on the hourly time frame a little bit more clear. And we got choppy here yesterday where we had our high, low, lower high, higher low, and we did get a little higher high here breaking this resistance, and then we just fell right back and broke support and then just bounced right back. So this is a, a chart that I look at and say, okay, the technicals are not really aligning right now well, so I'm going to go find a setup that's more clear and more favorable to me to make an entry. So when you see, you know, a bull break that doesn't follow through and then a bear break that doesn't follow through, we're clearly trading within a channel sideways, but it is definitely more tricky in terms of acting on clear signals. So Ethereum is in this sideways range and we should see a break sometime in the next, oh, about 24 hours, I'd say we'd, we'll see a break from this current range that we're trading within. And the, the exact range, it all depends if you're using the 907 to 948 23 level or the lower high at 944 92 they're very close so not a huge difference between those levels so all in all bottom line bulls still fine still holding up really well we're cautious of consolidation but this is consolidation that we're seeing right now and if we can see recovery and continuation that will be a great sign for the bulls otherwise if we consolidate for further and break to lower lows on the four hour time frame we'll just be looking for a daily higher low to be established at this point so let's get into Litecoin's bull move and what were some of the signals that the alert system acted on. 
And this was the oversold climax alert that went out for Litecoin yesterday when we dumped down to our low at that 206 level. And I actually uh, screwed this trade up a little bit. I'll go over that as well. Just in the sense that I left too much on the table. I still exited with profit. It's always nice to make a mistake and still end up in the green, but definitely left profit off the table or on the table. So here's where that alert went out. It was right down at the bottom. Again, it's the volume climax and it's the RSI levels at extreme. And then we had a a volume or an overbought climax after the bull move today. And we did end up heading to, we saw that brief consolidation after the climax went out for a couple hours. We did get a bull break and looked like we were going to see continuation. But now at this point, because we did drop back down, we're trading right about here. So again, I only, I will use the 15 minute overbought climax to take profit only if it's fitting within my game plan. It doesn't mean, you know, when we get these alerts, we don't just randomly go in and I shouldn't say randomly, but we don't just go in and blindly buy or sell. We look at the setup. And if my game plan is to hold Litecoin longer term until longer term support levels break, either the hourly higher low or the four hour higher low, then I'm going to ignore that signal. Perhaps I, maybe I take a little bit of profit and then try and reload it on consolidation. But in general, if my game plan is to hold it longer term, I'm not going to sell on this signal. Now, if I were short-term trading and just flipping it and wanted to be out, and that would definitely be a signal that I acted on. So it, it, these alerts definitely need to, you need to have a trade game plan and these alerts need to really fall within that to have all of their clarity. In terms of this entry point, we in the chat room were all scaling in here in the low 200s, and this bounce took a really long time to play out. And Bitcoin was still seeing a little bit weak of weakness, and it was the correlation to Bitcoin where Bitcoin was not anywhere near oversold on the 15-minute time frame. So I was cautious on my entry into Litecoin because I, I actually talked about it in the video yesterday right before I signed off, then we went to make that trade. So I was cautious because Bitcoin was not oversold yet, and because of that, it definitely influenced my decision to sell early and I only ended up getting about a dollar or two of profit on this move which ended up being you know a 10 a 15 dollar move so I ended up leaving a lot on the table because I ent or I exited too early I had a really nice entry down here and I exited too early because it took a long time for the bounce to play out it took about 40 minutes and then I missed that second leg to the upside so again just something that I'll review and I'll go and I'll look back at that trade and say what could I have done differently what were the different signals and all in all uh very awesome to be able to keep your risk to reward and your uh, you know, risk management to the point where you can make a mistake and learn from that mistake and still be in the green or just suffering a small loss. So again, just to touch on this new indicator that's going to be coming out, it's going to be a breakout indicator. The price shear, oftentimes it, or when that price shear can signal without a lot of volume behind it, it might not be the same kind of you know convincing signal where if we combine volume with that alert and we get that price shear and we get that volume spike in a certain amount of time and that lets us know that the breakout is underway and it can almost act as like a bit of confirmation because the price here will signal first because the price here will set off without needing the volume to trigger the alert so if you get a price here and then you get a breakout shortly after that you know okay price here conditions but the volume is ramping up as well so it's almost like that that breakout indicator will be a confirmation of the price here that it has some momentum behind it so we'll do some videos in terms of little quick educational videos on how to use those alerts we'll add those to the site really looking forward to the site upgrade just in terms of design and also the new features we're going to be adding to it in about a month's time that'll be fun to do and let's see if these bitcoin and crypto bulls can stay strong overnight ethereum is really the clearest pattern on the four hour time frame in terms of just sideways tight range so that's something to keep an eye on as well, because I'm always watching Ethereum with a, a bit of an extra eye at this point, because whenever, you know, one of these names goes crazy, once it starts to cool off a little bit, there's a lot of profit and there's a lot of, you know, bulls got the scent of blood and they want more and they go for, uh, they run multiple names, just taking turns doing it. So we'll see if Ethereum is going to get its turn in the limelight in the near future. I hope you all continue to do good things. Again, enjoy the long weekend. I will see you Monday. I'll see you every day. This is, you know, we're an everyday kind of people. Have a great night.